the thing I keep seeing people say online about how you can help uh, is to listen and to educate yourself. First of all, I've been watching a lot of things online and I've come across several videos that I think are good, uh, helpful places to start. NFL linebacker Emmanuel Acho made this video. Welcome to the first of hopefully many episodes of Uncomfortable Conversations with a Black Man. So many of y'all have reached out to me and by y'all, I mean white people. In order to stand with us and people that look like me, you have to be educated on issues that pertain to me and fully educated so that you can fool the full level of pain so that you can have full understanding. Putting a link down there to it, as well as all the things I'm gonna mention. Trevor Noah has a good video describing what it's like to be black in America. Think about that, that, that unease that you felt watching that target being looted. Ask yourself why it got you that much more watching, watching these people loot, because they were destroying the contract that you thought they had signed with your society. Imagine if you were them watching that contract being ripped up every single day. Ask yourself how you'd feel. A video from this guy named Muji, who I didn't know about until this, but he uh, has a great video describing his reaction uh, to the George Floyd murder and what it means. No matter what political party you belong to, violence against an innocent person is not right, you know? The Vlog Brothers made a whole playlist of videos called Black Voices, Black History. Highly recommend that. These could help you get some understanding, some perspective, but then you could be like, well, then what? What do you do? How do you how do you really change things? Another good thing to take a look at is the CampaignZero.org website. Their mission statement on there is, We can live in a world where the police don't kill people by limiting police interventions, improving community interactions, and ensuring accountability. And then they have all these boxes representing categories that you can click on, and they go into much more detail about actual policy that you can advocate for. We could have a debate about which policies are going to work and which aren't, but that's a good place to start, to learn what's what's being proposed. Someone made this Google Doc that I found through Twitter. I found almost everything here through Twitter that has a massive resource for different articles to read and videos and podcasts and books and movies to watch and organizations to follow. Looking at the movie list, I think I have only seen If Beale Street Could Talk. I've not seen any of these other movies, and I watch lots of movies. It, it, I'm ashamed. I'm going to watch. Well, I'm going to watch all of these. I haven't seen When They See Us, but I have seen the documentary Central Park Five by Ken Burns, and I highly recommend that. About five kids who were coaxed into confessing to a murder they actually didn't commit, and they were wrongfully imprisoned at the time. Donald Trump actually put full-page ads in New York newspapers calling for the death penalty for these kids who were wrongfully put to jail. But if this page is too much, a couple of girls actually made another Google Doc that's. Awesome, it's a lesson plan. Brianna Wallace and Autumn Gupta. You can do the 10 minute a day version, 25 minute a day version, 45 minute a day version. And it just assigns you something to read, something to watch, something to listen to. I wish someone would give me a lesson plan for every single topic that I need to learn about every day. It's truly amazing. Good work. A Medium article, 75 Things White People Can Do for Racial Justice, 75. Someone sent me a link to this video by Legal Eagle, a lawyer who talks about law on YouTube. I didn't know he existed. He made a whole video about the really, really stupid and horrible photo op that Donald Trump did, gassing protesters so he could get to the church. I know some are saying that there wasn't tear gas. Regardless, there was violence so that Donald Trump could have a photo op. He gave the order to round everyone up to clear them out, someone, whether it was the president or those acting under his orders, tear gassed the protesters, shot them with rubber munitions, and generally just beat the shit out of them. Books. Victoria Alexander made a Twitter post that, again, is sort of like a lesson. Books divided by category. There's the anti-racist starter kit, intermediate kit, black feminism, black-centered fiction. Putting a link to a list of black-owned bookstores where you can buy these books. A list of children's books for conversations about race with your kids. Places to donate. Uh, I've already donated to the National Police Accountability Project. Lifehacker posted a list of places you can donate, including the NAACP, Black Lives Matter, Southern Poverty Law Center, different organizations organized by state. There's even a place you can donate and it will split your donation to several different organizations if you're having trouble deciding. That's gonna be linked down there. All this is gonna be linked down there. Lots of petitions you can sign, that'll be linked down there, but also be wary of any false petitions or false places to donate. Google anything you're gonna donate to, do the research. And there's ways going around to donate with no money. There's people who are uploading long videos that you can just watch and they pledge to donate all the money made to 
various organizations. There's a playlist of all those videos down there and a few that I've listened to while editing. I'm gonna listen to while editing this video. And then finally, I'll just mention one tweet that I came across that went viral by Danny Quateng. I want you all to care after the protests have ended. That's all. That's all.